is predicting. For many of us, we'll also be seeing significant ice. This could result in more power outages, so Virginians, now is the time to prepare. And if you don't need to be out, please stay at home. I want to take this opportunity on behalf of all of us in Virginia to thank all of the utility crews at Dominion Energy, Appalachian Power, and our co-ops throughout Virginia. And I also want to thank the Virginia Department of Transportation and other road workers, the Virginia Department of Emergency Management, the state police, and other law enforcement, and everyone who works every storm to keep us all safe. They did a great job in the storm that we just had over the weekend, and I'm grateful to them for everything they'll do in this storm as well. So pay attention to the forecast and please be prepared for the worst. Thank you. I'll be glad to take questions. Cam. Governor, um, just regarding this, the storm that is, is coming tomorrow, do you have any concerns about the people who are still experiencing those prolonged power outages? I know for our area, that's Dinwiddie, Nottoway, the south side, and just how the power companies are handling you know, the response to that, and is there anything the state is doing to try and help out those areas? Well, it's been a combined effort, Cam, as you might imagine. I mean, a lot of the power outages uh, this past weekend were because of down trees. Uh, and obviously our Department of Forestry is, is helping. They've been on the scene with, with chainsaws. The Virginia Department of Transportation clearing the, uh, the trees from, from roads and on, uh, on power lines. So everybody's been working well together. And, and uh, unfortunately, uh, it looks like we're going to have a double whammy. And, you know, we, again, we need to prepare for the best but, or for the worst. But I, I just would encourage uh, all Virginians to uh, this storm is supposed, as you know, supposed to come tomorrow and into Friday morning. And, and everybody needs to be as prepared as they can. And, and I guess one last thing I would say, um, not that I'm a driving expert because I don't even drive now, but uh, there's obviously a difference between driving on snow and driving on ice. And I don't care what kind of equipment you have, whether it's four wheel drive or whatever, if you don't need to be out when there's ice on the roads, please stay at home. And um, it's just uh, everybody is stretched thinly. I mean, the, our, the Virginia Department of Transportation will do everything that we can to prepare and keep the roads safe. But we have to remember our, our state police and other law enforcement agents are, are out. And so if, if everybody can just stay home, uh, that, that will be in everybody's best interest. And, you know, we'll, uh, as we always do, we'll recover from the storm, from whatever happens, and get people on their feet. But I think the beginning of your question and my concern, I, yes, I, I get very concerned when people don't have power, especially those that are, are vulnerable, when people don't have running water. Those are things that we, you know, just take for granted. And it, it's, uh, it's uh, very detrimental when we don't have these. And we'll do everything that we can to, to make sure that these people have the services they need.